Hey everybody, it's Allie from Padfoot Palms. So, um, I see it posted all the time. People are concerned because their puppies are holding on to their puppy teeth and they would like to know some kind of tips or tricks to get those puppy teeth loose and get them out. So, I wanted to make a quick video since I'm here prepping for my dogs currently just to give you guys some ideas on some natural options that you can do um, to loosen up those puppy teeth. And I got Gooby here standing on the vent because it feels good, right Gooby? <laughs> he likes to lay on the vent and when it's blowing it blows his hair up. It's super cute. Anyway, sorry I got distracted. Okay, so here we have some carrots and these are full size, not pre-cut carrots. Um, if you can buy organic, absolutely do organic, both for yourself and your dogs. Um, you'll see a huge difference in flavor for yourself, um, but also you don't have to worry about as many chemicals being on them um, when they're organic. So as you can see, I've got them cut into about three to four inch long pieces. And I've got some bigger ones over here that I'm washing. So those are a great option for your puppy to chew on. Um, you just want to make sure that as it gets smaller, that of course you're watching them and um, you can either chop it up into smaller pieces or you know make sure that they chew it up really well. So carrots are an excellent option. And then right here we have some chicken feet. Um, these are frozen because I pre-portion my chicken feet, one per dog, put them in a Ziploc bag, put them in the freezer. It just helps when it's time for them to have a chicken feet or chicken foot. I can just, you know, pull the bag out, defrost it the night before. It makes life easier. Um, when you're looking at chicken feet, you want to make sure that the pad of the foot, right, this is part on the bottom between the toes, um, is nice and clear. If you see black spots or any kind of discoloration, that's called bumble foot. And while technically it's okay to feed to your dogs, um, I personally don't recommend it. Bumblefoot is a type of infection, so I just don't see any reason why you would want to feed a part that's infected to your dog. Um, so just make sure you take a look at those very closely when you buy them. At Walmart, they call them chicken paws. You'll see them um, in the chicken meat section. Another great option are small goat horns. Um, these were purchased from TJ Maxx, as you can see here. And these are a great option because unlike antlers, these are not nearly as hard. So they have more give to them, and I find that puppies chew them longer because they have a little more give. Um, so that's another great option. Of course, you guys know, if you've been watching me at all, I am a huge fan of the trachea chews. This is the six inch variety, which I cut down into three to four inch pieces. Um, so these are also another great option, excellent soy source of glucosamine and chondroitin. So these are really great for puppies that are teething. And then also you don't wanna rule out um, frozen vegetables. These are the fine green beans, but you could get um, any green beans or pole beans. They're nice and long, and when they're frozen, it feels good. You know, on the puppy gums, you know, their teeth are coming through and it's really hurting them. So, uh, frozen vegetables are an excellent, healthy option to help loosen up those teeth. Um, also, something that I don't have pictured here would be a raw chicken neck. That's a great option if you have a larger breed puppy. Um, turkey necks, uh, raw turkey necks are also a great option. So there's some things that you can keep in mind. And Gooby is trying to get into the potatoes. Gooby, what are you doing? Those are not for you. <laughs> okay, hope you guys have a great night.